to deal with these significant issues that that uh, you and I may not have the time to deal with. I, I assure you they are extraordinarily more complex than the uh, than the contracts we just decided uh, to set aside uh, to take off of our responsibility. These are tremendous responsibilities, and he's a, a, a wonderful watchdog for this county with respect to those. I would also like to say that this is actually a reduction, if I'm not incorrect, Mr. County Manager, in the hourly rate from a 45 cent to a 40 dollar an hour rate, understanding as he respects the, uh, uh, our county is not a wealthy county. Uh, and, uh, and many of these services go for well up into nearly $100 an hour as they approach legal services, uh, which are well above that also. So I think it's a, an exceptionally uh, beneficial uh, action to, to go forward with this, and I appreciate your support in that. Okay, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I, I have a question there also. Uh, first, uh, Mr. Winger. ECO, the Eastern Counties, are you doing the same thing as what Mr. Shamley is doing by any chance? Is that a question to me? Uh, yes, the question is to you, Mr. Winger. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we are part of the ECO, which is Eastern Counties Organization. What that is, is it's a group of counties that work on natural resource issues. It consists of Greenlee, Graham, Gila, Navajo, and Apache. There's five of us. Uh, that organization does have an executive director. His name is Pascal Berliou. We do pay dues to that organization. I believe it's 6000 a year. And then the, the legislature has a program where uh, they fund projects in each county and then that money is passed back to uh, ECO to administer those projects and that's how it's funded. Uh, Pascal Berliou does uh, a lot of analysis, research, and writes reports and different kinds of things in a similar manner as Mr. Shanley does. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I could comment to that also. Go ahead, Mr. Weller. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it, it speaks to the uh, incredible amount of information uh, that, uh, that, it, that comes at us from the different agencies of the state and the federal government. Uh, Mr. Ballou needs to contract out. In fact, the next agenda item has, has uh, him requesting assistance from us in that respect because there's an awesome amount of work that needs to be done. And Mr. Ballou does not uh, focus on Apache County and uh, protect us singularly. He looks more generally at the more state issues and he is uh, oftentimes embedded in the weeds of specific issues where Mr. Shanley is a specific resource to protect our county resources. Okay, thank you. Mr. Winger, or you wanted to make a comment? I was just going to say that uh, uh, Mr. Weller is correct that uh, Mr. Shamley lowered his dollar amount from 45 to 40 in this in this new contract. Okay. Any other questions, comments? Okay. If there's no uh, questions or comments, uh, I'll go ahead and call for the question. Um, I don't know, I kind of feel leery about this, you know, I kind of, we were just giving a presentation, gentlemen, you know, about the um, PILT and also the um, you know, dollar amount that we're getting from the uh, state and, you know, I, I know, you know, that um, the board also has their responsibility to kind of to watch the spending of the county, so but uh, that's just my concern. I so why don't we go ahead and go take the vote down? All in favor to uh, approve this, say aye. 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 I'm going to abstain on this, gentlemen. So two, the ayes have it. Two in favor um, and a one abstain. <laughs> Item ten. Mr. Wingert. Yes, item 10 is discussion of possible approval of an agreement. Here again with Veritas Research Consulting to prepare a gap 
analysis for the Apache County Natural Resource Plan at a not to exceed cost of 9,000, provided through a grant to the Eastern Counties Association. What this is, is Senator Crandall, uh, he wrote a bill that would provide $100,000 for the counties and eco organization to um, look at our existing natural resource plan and to bring them up to speed. And each, each county is going to receive $9,000 out of the $100,000 to work on our own particular plan. ECO is going to provide a framework uh, that all counties can tap into if they would like um, as we upgrade our individual natural resource plans. And that's what this is. And we recommend approval. It is, this is not going to cost, cost the county anything. It's a grant. Okay. Gentlemen, will we approve? Motion. I second, second the motion to approve. Motion is second. Any questions, comments? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Okay, let's move on to item 11, Mr. Winger. Yes, item number 11, we just want to give you an update, a brief update on our surplus auction that we have on a monthly basis. This is something we started, I believe, eight or nine months ago, and it's been very successful. We have been able to reduce our inventory of, of older vehicles and different equipment and different things. Uh, engineering has been uh, heading this up along with Bonnie from my office. Dale Hauser is here, and he would like to do a short PowerPoint and answering questions the board might have regarding the auction. Okay. Good morning, Good morning. Dale. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Chairman, members of the board, I've been asked to give a short presentation on the county's property disposal procedure and more specifically how it um, interacts with publicsurplus.com the website we're using to disperse of the equipment. Um, on the screen, we have a, a write-off sheet that we've used, we begin to use for um, this, this purpose. And on that sheet, we ask for a property tag number, uh, description, um, serial number, and if it's for a vehicle, we ask for keys and gas keys and things like that. And we use this sheet, this information given to us to fill out um, the uh, input sheet on publicsurplus.com. But when we receive the um, write-off sheet, at that point in time, if it's a fixed asset, we um, go to advertisement in a local paper, and then we input onto the web page uh, the information that is provided in this sheet. And um, some of the information that we put on here is duration of the auction, the ending time, the ending date, um, pictures, and pickup location. Um, as seen on the sheet, on the screen at the moment, this is what their web page looks like when I release an item after the corresponding time is up on the advertisement. Um, the public isn't allowed or been able to go on and click on what they'd like to purchase or like to bid on on that web page. And as they click on the first picture or symbol, they get the following um, information on the screen. On the web page, it comes up, followed by pictures of that item that we have put on. Um, at the end of the sale time allotted, uh, the auction closes. Um, the winning person makes payment to public surplus and um, at that point in time they can print out a receipt and there's an example of a receipt on the screen at the moment and that receipt is brought in when they pick up their items and is signed by them and a person from the county who is delivering this equipment to them. Um, monthly at this point in time, um, an ACH or automatic money transfer is made to the treasurer's office. And uh, myself or, or Bonnie um, sends a report to the treasurer's office uh, telling them which departments are to receive those monies. And um, 